hello children in this lecture we will discuss the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory uh, which is also known as vesper theory uh, vesper is the short form of this valence shell electron pair repulsion theory okay students so as you all know that in an atom valence shell of electron is outermost shell of the atom so each and every atom is having outermost shell and that outermost shell is known as its valence shell so valence shell is outermost shell of the atom valence shell or outer most shell okay students so as atom are having a valence shell with valence electron valence electron so the electrons which are present in outer most shell are known as valence electron same way molecules are also having electrons in their valence shell okay molecules are also having electrons in their valence shell so valence shell electrons of a molecule can be divided in two types bond pair bond pair electrons and lone pair electrons so electrons of valence shell of a molecule are of two types bond pair electrons and lone pair electrons okay students so uh, these two types of electron pairs are the responsible for the particular structure of the molecule okay students and what is the effect of these pair of electron on the structure of the molecule we will discuss these things in valence shell electron pair repulsion theory okay students so these are the two types of bond pair pairs as you can see in the case of ammonia molecule this is the ammonia molecule and in ammonia molecule the central atom nitrogen is having one lone pair and around it there are three bond pair okay students it means in the valence shell of ammonia molecules there are total four types of electron uh, to, there are total four electron pairs total four electron pairs and out out of these four electron pairs one is lone pair and the three are bond pair electrons okay students so same way water molecule in water molecules valence shell is having two lone pair and two bond pair and here in methane molecule there is no lone pair electrons uh, there are only four bond pair electrons in the valence shell of methane molecule okay students electrons have directional character okay in a covalent molecules the atom occupy definite positions with respect to one another uh, atom thus each covalent molecule has a definite molecular geometry the bond length and bond angle describes the geometry of the molecule okay so covalent bonds are directional in nature that is why uh, the presence of covalent bond in a specific direction uh, the molecule attain a specific geometry a specific geometry shape of the simple molecules may be explained by valence shell electron pair repulsion theory okay this theory was put forward by sedwick and powell and then developed by uh, redefined by uh, nylon and glipsy so the main postulates of this theory are as follows the first point the shape of a molecule depends upon the number of valence shell electron pairs around the central atom okay so valence shell electron pair 
सो शेप ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल इज डिपेंड अपॉन द वैलेंशियल इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स सो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स विच प्रजेंट इन वैलेंशियल एंड इन वैलेंशियल बॉन्डेड एंड नॉन बॉन्डेड बोथ टाइप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पेयर आर प्रजेंट बॉन्डेड एंड नॉन बॉन्डेड ओके सेकेंड पॉइंट द पेयर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द वैलेंशियल रिपल वन एंड अदर सिंस दे आर इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउस आर नेगेटिवली चार्ज then third point pairs of electrons tend to occupy such positions in space that minimize repulsion and so maximize distance between them okay so due to the uh, similarity in charge the bond pairs or the electrons electrons repel to each other and this repulsion get minimized when the electron pairs are maximum far apart from each other okay then the valence shell is taken as a sphere with the electron pairs localizing on the spherical surface at maximum distance from one another then a single bond is treated as if it is a single electron pair and the two or three electron pairs of multiple bond are treated as single super pair okay so single super pair is the electrons of multiple bonds and just one pair of electron is the electrons of single bond then this is the most important statement related to vesper theory the repulsive interaction of electron pairs decreases in the order lone pair two lone pair so uh, this this, uh, this uh, repulsion will be maximum and the next lone pair bond pair repulsion will be comparatively less and bond pair bond pair repulsion will be least okay so this is the uh, decreasing order of uh, repulsion of electron pairs okay so this now for example as you can see here this methane molecule molecule of methane it is uh, this is the central atom of the molecule and four hydrogen atoms so these all four bond pairs or electron pairs are arranged tetrahedrally around the central atom that is why the shape of this molecule is tetrahedral structure tetrahedral geometry okay and methane is sp3 hybrid compound same way ammonia ammonia uh, with central atom nitrogen one lone pair with nitrogen and three bond pairs okay students so one lone pair and three bond pairs and this is also a sp3 hybrid compound ammonia is also sp3 hybrid compound and same way water h2o central atom is oxygen with two lone pair and two bond pair two bond pair so two lone pair two bond pair and the hybridization of water molecules is also sp3 okay so this so methane ammonia and water these all three molecules are of same hybridization sp3 but methane is showing a regular structure means undistorted structure whereas ammonia and water is showing distorted structure how can we uh, say that ammonia and water is showing distorted structure because you all know that if a compound is having sp3 hybridization so it should be tetrahedral in structure and its central bond angle should be 109.5 degree but as you can see uh, from structure of ammonia ammonia is having pyramidal structure pyramidal structure with the central bond angle 107 degree and water is having bent structure with central bond angle 14 one zero four point five degree 
ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो अमोनिया एंड वाटर दीज टू मॉलिक्यूल्स आर नॉट शोइंग रेगुलर स्ट्रक्चर एज शोन बाय दिस मीथेन मॉलिक्यूल नाउ वॉट इज द डिफरेंस Why ammonia and water molecules are not showing regular structure? So you can see easily uh, that methane, methane, in methane, central carbon atom is having only bond pair around it, whereas in ammonia, the central nitrogen atom is having three bond pair with one lone pair, and this oxygen is having two bond pair with two lone pair okay students so due to the difference in the presence of lone pair these three are showing a different structure whereas all are having same type of hybridization okay students so the vesper theory is explaining the difference or you can say the structure of such compounds which are having only bond pair or having bond pair with lone pair okay so ammonia is ammonia and water is not showing regular structure due to the presence of lone pair with bond pair so ammonia is having one lone pair and three bond pair water molecule is having two bond pair and two lone pair whereas methane is having four bond pair and zero lone pair electrons okay students second thing the distortion amount of distortion is directly proportional to the uh, number of lone pair number of lone pair so as you can see uh, with the help of these two example ammonia and water that these two these two in these two ammonia with one lone pair is having comparatively less distortion and water with two lone pair is having comparatively high distortion okay so this high amount of distortion how you can say this because in ammonia the central bond angle is 107 degree whereas in water 104.5 degree as you know that repulsion between lone pair lone pair is greatest highest that is why central bond angle is shortest in the case of water in comparison to ammonia and methane molecule okay students so uh, this is uh, for your uh, related to a uh, vesper theory so any such molecule which is not having any a uh, lone pair of electron will always show a regular structure and if molecule is having both lone pair and bond pair then uh, related to molecule will show distorted structure and the amount of distortion in the compound is always directly proportional to the number of lone pair of electrons okay students Thank you